joined now by defense attorney Jeff Gold and former prosecutor Courtney Piltzman, who joins us from Irvine. All right, uh, we now know that the jury has come back and the judge said to them, uh, what specifically do you want to know about manslaughter? That was a couple of hours ago. Now, Jeff, they have not responded specifically what it is they want. What does that tell you? Well, they might be afraid of the judge. Uh, that's <laughs> one thing. <laughs> judge has been a little stern to some of the lawyers. But, uh, look, uh, let's, let's talk about what this, this means. Could they reach uh, manslaughter? Well, if they find no ill will, that takes out second degree. Well, I'm going to assume, excuse me, Jeff, and I'm going to assume right now that murder two is off the table, uh, that the jury is going down the list as they would do in most cases, and that they've taken off murder two, whether it's because of self-defense or ill will, and they're moving down to manslaughter. Uh, Courtney, would you agree with that? Murder two is off the table? Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Okay, Jeff, what do well, you Well, what I was going to say was, if you take out ill will, that takes out second degree. If you take out self-defense, that leaves you with manslaughter. So there is a way they're going to just say manslaughter. Now, I'm not predicting that. On the other hand, they may just be confused by this archaic manslaughter law. This is not one of the All modern right, me, statutes that talk about to recklessness. To prove the crime of manslaughter, the state must prove the following two elements. Beyond a reasonable doubt, Trayvon is dead. And George Zimmerman intentionally committed an act or acts that caused the death of Trayvon Martin. He cannot be guilty of manslaughter by committing a merely negligent act or if the killing was justified. Well, it goes on further, if you read it, yeah. uh, to talk about what the justification might be. Heat of passion, provocation. If they find that this killing was a sufficient provocation, then... Well, it, if it was in self-defense, and, and then, Courtney, right. isn't it a fact right. that at that Absolutely. point, they, he's got to be reasonable in his assumption. The question is, maybe it was self-defense, but they would have known if there's self-defense for murder, there's right. self-defense right. exactly. for manslaughter. That's why correct? I said the only but way the, you get to manslaughter is to say no ill will, that takes out second, but you say there's also no self-defense. You can get to manslaughter. Well, I think right. they're working all night. They're working on whether it's going to be manslaughter. I certainly don't think this means a conviction. It could mean an acquittal. Courtney, go ahead. And the other one is the accused. Uh, and Jeff, given right. that scenario, I mean, it's true that he could say that Trayvon was, was chasing him, but, you know, look, Trayvon look, was maybe running from him. Look, let's talk about the women for one more second. I said in the beginning, when others said it was a slam dunk for the prosecutor to watch, uh, to the defense that it were all women, I said, watch out for the fact that there are five moms on this jury. And sure enough, the prosecutor honed in his rebuttal on the child in the dark being followed by a stranger, right? Tugging but on the their judge, heartstrings. Of course, didn't didn't allow for that uh, child abuse type. Uh, well, that's true, but murder. But, but Courtney, I mean, ha having said that, do you think that that the defense felt that maybe all of these women, you know, would not be inclined to render a, a verdict as as significant and as tough and as long lasting as a verdict of guilty in a case like this? All right, and and so it appears that each side wanted women, Jeff. No, uh, it, they were really focused on, on, on more about guns. They were about women, uh, although. And many of these women jurors have guns. Yes, that's yes. exactly why. That's, an that's exactly point. why they thought that. I mean, you know, All this right. is a. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a case that centers on guns as well as children. Anyway, Jeff Gold and uh, Courtney Pilcher, thank you very much for being with us. And up next, our thank coverage you, of the George.